John was um, shot and killed in his garden on 24th of June 2015. Uh, we've taken hundreds of statements, spoken to lots of people, uh, lots of vehicle inquiries and lots of intelligence work that's been going on in the background um, to try and progress the investigation. The circumstances surrounding John's murder is that he was at home and he was potting around the garden at the time of his death. Um, we believe the offender was probably a contract killer, so he was hired by someone else to, to kill John. Uh, we believe he drilled a hole in the fence near to where John was, was burning some paperwork in a secluded part of the grounds of his house. Uh, we also believe that offender jumped the fence and then shot John at close range. John did manage to, to partially stumble back towards the house but collapsed there uh, and was pronounced dead at the scene. A number of individuals have stood trial for real estate fraud in Madrid for offences in Tenerife dating back to the 1990s and 2000. John was due to be one of the defendants um, before he was shot and killed. That trial is really key to this investigation for a number of reasons. Firstly, there was national coverage in the tabloids in, in the months leading up to John's murder and the week of his murder he was informed that he was going to be one of those defendants in that trial. Although John has been involved in criminality in his life, no one deserves to die in that manner regardless of what their background is. And plus John was a father and he was a partner and he was a family man. His family are trying to deal with his, their grief and I think that's the real reason why people should contact us and people should help us try and identify those people responsible so I can then put them in front of a court and convict them.